capable of translating the languages of remote and lost worlds into low Gothic. It can even process Xenos languages to a certain degree. Not without infelicities, but possibly well. Infelicities. Uh. Thank you. The Inquisition's generosity is greatly appreciated. May the Elucidator serve House von Valancius as faithfully as it has served the acolytes of the Holy Ordos up to now. What do you think will become of the Electrodynamic Synobium? It all depends on the Electro Priests who survived the attack. Fortunately for them, the cultists did not manage to seriously corrupt the Holy Site, partly thanks to the priesthood's effort. Nevertheless, I would not be surprised if the local Explorator fleet decides to audit and purge the damaged units once it hears about what has happened. And what do you plan to do now? I would like to offer my assistance in resolving your immediate problems. I am aware that the ship suffered considerable losses during the recent mutiny and was damaged by the cultists' actions, and you have lost many valuable officers as well. You are in a difficult situation. I am at your disposal. And I must return to my duties. Heinrichs is about to say something else when he's interrupted by the sound of a Vox signal. Someone is trying to contact you. Thank you for your time. Please consider me at your complete disposal while I am aboard your vessel. Vox Master Vigdis, congratulations on the victory, your lordship. The entire vessel was impatiently awaiting the news of your expedition's success. The rumors about you not simply saving the Tech Priest Monastery, but actually eliminating the source of the mutiny are spreading like wildfire. The Vox transmissions from across the world speak of nothing else. Governor Medna is expecting you at his command center to discuss matters. We are ready to depart immediately. Just give the order. Uh, Muck, what do you recommend for Christmas presents for a 9 and 12 year old boy? Both are into Fortnite, one likes Guild Wars 2. Have you seen Lego Fortnite that came out recently? That is supposedly doing very well and has been very well received by a lot of kids. If they already like Fortnite, they might not like Lego Come on Fortnite. Come and welcome to Japan, kids. It's time for tentacles. Eyes belt. Had something to take care of. This is compelling with the steampunk ambience in the background. <laughs> uh, Alright, a quick save here. Cronus Expanse Mount. Alright, so they want me to revisit the bunker. I'll need to lay, uh, level Abelard up, but... Three psychers, we were having trouble with the warp stuff, so I'm not gonna bring three psychers. All right, don't know if there's gonna be a fight, so let's level Abelard real quick. Uh, let's see, sworn enemy marks a target, gaining armor and melee attacks, uh, I guess a target. If the target attacks for doing this round, I guess one AP once per round. Sworn enemy seems pretty good. All right, let's get sworn enemy. And I get it here. Chip is pulling on my sleeve again. I'm using my other arm to pet him. 
Let's see. Uh, where's the it will not die thing? Let's get that. All right. Uh, strength. Athletics. Okay. All right. Let's quick save there. They will see. Oh yes, they all will see. Talk to the governor. Greetings again, your lordship. I can't express how grateful I am for your help. Now that the insidious heretic's designs have been thwarted, nothing stands in the way of my pl of uh, my plans or yours. With Aurora dead, the spirit of revolt is waning. Entire squads of rebels are surrendering. We're witnessing the final days of the uprising. I have already signed the order to allocate 2,000 first-class Voidfarers to you. Their transfer to your ship should begin any minute now. I would also like to salute the savior of Rykad Minoris, and I already have a festive celebration to be held in your honor. We will celebrate your victory with an ancient custom, the Triumph. You will drive through the city streets accompanied by a guard of honor as befits a hero who has vanquished the Imperium's enemies. While your trophies will be displayed to the jubilant crowds, let me know once you've concluded your business in the system and are ready for the Triumph to begin. He is positively ablaze with enthusiasm. Adira shrieks and blindly reaches for the air in front of her. She rubs her eye. Oh, for Grok's sake. What the... Lord Captain, I can't see a thing. Only darkness. Pitch black darkness. The governor chuckles nervously and fidgets with his collar. Are you being facetious, ma'am? Another prophecy? I have no idea. Darkness just enveloped me. Bam. Like some kind of veil. But I've not gone blind. No, it is the darkness that I see. It is the only thing I see. No idea what that means, but the whole thing reeks, Lord Captain. I don't like the look of it in the slide. Oh! Adira stares at her hands as if she's never seen them before. It's gone. Medina breathes a sigh of relief. You have no doubts have been through a lot lately, ma'am. Small wonder your vision had a dim spell with all this shooting everywhere, let alone all these maimed and maddened insurgents. It'll be all right. The festivities will distract you. You'll feel right as rain. Um... I have other business in this system. Then I daren't delay you any further. Um, so is that going to like... I think that's hinting that that's going to end the act. Like that'll end act one or something. Uh, Ruth asks, is this ba uh, based on the Wargame or the TTRPG? And how approachable is it for someone who doesn't know Warhammer? I know Alcat's other games. Uh, I know Pathfinder Inside and Out, but that's not so much. Ratha, I do not know Warhammer Inside and Out. Uh, I know a bit about it. I just started playing Warhammer-related video games this last year. Um, I've never played anything besides the video games. So I've never played Tabletop um, or the War Game. Uh, so I will say that I know it's lore in the same universe. It does a pretty good job explaining things. Like, anytime they're talking, any key words, like, will be bold. And, they've, you know, they've got tooltips, and you can mouse over it and read it. Um, so yeah, I think it does a pretty good job introducing you with lots of tooltips if you need to read them. Uh, certain things that I, are, I already knew, like Inquisitors and Servitor Skulls and uh, various races because of the other video games I played, but it does a decent job. Alright, these bottom things I haven't visited yet, so Unidentified Void Ship. The Vox crackles to life and Master Helmsman Raver addresses you. What do we have here, Lord Captain? It is not very noticeable, but there's a void ship sitting in the local asteroid field. I'm sure it's quiet, like it's huddled up in there on purpose. It's not like I'm surprised. The thing is more scrap heap than ship at this point. Somebody sure went to town on it. We are registering critical damage to the hull and depressurization of several compartments. Oh, there's an incoming transmission now, too. Hear us? The Vox transmission hisses abruptly, cuts to static. Do not require assistance. Pete, do not require assistance. Copy? The Vox relays a different voice. Keep following. They'll pass us by, won't they? Roar protects. Lord Captain, I am told our augurs cannot determine the allegiance of the vessel. To be brief, there is an unidentified and badly damaged vessel within an asteroid field near the Rykadi Philia colony that's refusing help, which not to put too fine a point on it, has not yet been offered to them. Ravor, can we establish communication? Let the vessel identify itself. Yes, Lord Cap. The connection is established. Unknown vessel, we are receiving you. Identify yourselves. I repeat, identify yourselves. 
For a brief moment, the Vox only hisses and snaps, and then several voices at once start shouting over one another. Do not tell. Tell them. We are done for. This is Thunderfang. We are... One of the voices falters uncertainly and is replaced by another. A merchant vessel. Do you copy? We're a private chant vessel. A merchant vessel. Of course. They are. Damn, my stupid head. Where did I hear this name before? Thunderfang. <laughs> you can aim guns at them. Thunderfang, why can we not identify you? Uh, you can make out a horse and furious whispering even over the crackling of static. Why? I don't know. What if... Certainly not. The whispering dies and a clear, youthful voice cuts through the static. Our vessel is badly damaged. Damage preventing the correct indent... Uh, identification. We assure you. Salt merchant vessel. Thunderfang does not require aid. Rave or damage report on the unknown vessel. Telemetry shows multiple hull breaches, most likely caused by the guns of a combat ship. Several compartments are leaking air. The bridge has almost been almost completely obliterated. Two of the engines are critically damaged. Somebody gave them a thrashing so solid they barely managed to limp away. Thunderfang, your vessel is badly damaged. What happened to you? The Vox responds by bursting into a cacophony of sounds, words, and emotions. Someone chuckles bitterly and others swears with some foul expletives and yet another hisses, furiously demanding that the others shut up. You managed to make out little from all this noise. We were just flying, minding our own business, straight out of the blue and open fire. Miracle we could get away, Emperor protected, and then more fire. Who? Void only knows. Roasted our tail, bombed everything. The folks are, folks are le uh, left without our help, we never got to them. Thunderfang, stop playing games and explain again why you forgot in the area. At this time, I highly recommend telling the truth. Happy now? What have you done? It's too late now. The Vox channel is again filled with angry whispering of several voices. The voice whispers and static are drowned out by clear and sl uh, clearly frightened voice. Do you copy? We are from the fellow of the void. We did not come here to loot on different business to help our own out of jail. Do not hurt. Please. We already had our chronos cleaned. How about striking a deal? Our hold is full of plunder. I mean goods. In case you are unaware, Lord Captain, the Fellowship of the Void is a disorderly assembly of several dozen pirate factions in the Coronas Expanse. They consider themselves above regular heretics solely because they sometimes have Vox conversations with those who they are about to board. Were it up to me, I would make them eat a salvo from the macro cannons to shake the scum loose from the decks. They certainly deserve it. High Factorum Janerus, the honeyed voice of the High Factotum interrupts the translation with a polite cough. I would wait on destroying the vessel, if I were you. Although the moral aspects of their livelihood do cause some awkward questions, the Fellowship of the Void so remains a major supplier of goods to the local market. Perhaps you will find dealing with them acceptable, especially when jumping to warp is impossible. Hmm. I mean, like, they're pirates, though. Like, they... It seems like they attacked this ship? Or were trying to get uh, their, their, their friends out of jail or something? Did not come here to loot. Different business to help our own out of jail. Do not hurt, please. We already had our chronos cleaned. How about striking a deal? Hmm. Smashy says shoot them. <laughs> I mean... I don't know. I feel like, I feel like if they're not here, this system would be a better place. I'm also wondering if I click this, if just by saying it, if it will, like, scare them into doing something. Keep following the old course. I mean, we could do that after. Main gun deck on my order. Aim weapons. Target Thunderfang. Janerous, your lordship, I beg forgiveness for my impertinence, but let me remind you once again, we are currently locked in the system without the ability to warp anywhere else. Be reasonable. Do you really now of all times want to get rid of a trading partner? And remember, the Fellowship of the Void is very likely to learn of what is about to transpire. I mean... They're pirates. <laughs> Main gun deck, fire. 
The main gun deck is reporting successful salvo. The augers are reporting successful hit. We do not register any survivors. Death to the pirate scum. Glory to the Von Valencia's dynasty. Okay, well, that's gone. Begin scan. Uh, Rykadia Philia, the prison planetoid. Mm, the Coronas Expanse is a vast region of space where you will travel between different star systems. In each system, unique events can occur. By steering your flagship toward them, you can explore planets, anomalies, and interact with other ships. To switch to the map of the entire Coronas Expanse, click the button in the bottom right corner of the screen. No, 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 no. Yeah, I don't see a button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Anyway. Uh, yeah. The trading partner. <laughs> Dead? It wasn't a trading partner, it was a pirate that was trying to sell me stuff they stole. They're like, we stole this, fair and square. We deal it dead. Not very profitable. Alright, I learned from Team Fortress 2. As long as there's two people on the planet, someone is going to want someone dead. Why did the game just pause? Oh, there's a trap over there, that's why. Come in, come in, escort. This is Captain Vekhari. Escort, please come in. The pale young woman looks at you with a mixture of hope and disbelief swirling in her eyes. You notice her hands trembling as she clutches her weapon. Who are you? Did you come from the planet? Are you reinforcements? Saint's teeth, I thought you'd never come. I have no time for long-winded talks. Brief me of the situation ahead. Do be concise. Reporting. There's been a prison riot on the planetoid, led by the prison warden himself, my lord Evane Winterscale, son of rogue trader Caligos Winterscale, went to parlay with him. Laboring biomass should have been equipped with shutdown switches. It is surprising this procedure was not performed in a timely manner. Laboring biomass. He's talking about prisoners. They what? Switches? They're not machines, you can't switch them off. Oh, grok shit, I get it now. A few grams of physalene implanted at the base of the skull. Is that your idea of a shutdown? You do realize those are living people, not a resource. That statement is false. The primary attribute of convicted personnel on a mining station is that of a resource. Individuality is negligible. Why would young Winter Scale have felt the need to parlay with the dissidents? She sighs quietly. It's a personal matter. Master Castigalia, the seditious warden, is Lord of Ain's childhood friend. When my lord heard of the riot, the news saddened him greatly, so he rushed here without delay in the hopes of bringing his old friend to his senses, no doubt. The first winter scale in my memory who prefers talk rather than shoot and slash. She smiles faintly. Young Lord Winterscale is not his father's shadow. If he's determined to save his friend, he won't back down. I pray to the throne that he's alive and well. He's uh, been gone for such a long time, and I really don't like this place. Cassia frowns in confusion. Theobald executed his wife and only son on the mere suspicion of treason against, against House Orcelio. Why did the noble of Vane rush to save someone who had betrayed his house? Do bonds of friendship give one the right to make inexcusable mistakes? Is the prison riot connected to the planetary rebellion? It seems more likely that Warden Castigalia learned about the rebellion on Rye Cadam and Oris and decided to use the situation as advantage. I can't say for certain. Perhaps no one can. Governor Medina has always preferred to shoot rebels rather than inquire about their motives and connections. Is there anything else I should be appraised of before I set out? Some of the rebels have holed up in the barracks. I don't know how many, but given this is the only way through to where the negotiations are taking place, I would expect heavy resistance. Please take caution, your lordship. Lord Winterscale's guards mined the entrance so that rebels couldn't get to the shuttle. No more questions. You may excuse yourself, pilot. 
The woman freezes for a moment before asking hesitantly, Your Lordship, if I may have a minute of your time, I wouldn't ever have dared to trouble you with a personal matter, but the situation. In any case, have you been to the capital of Rankad Minoris yet? I wanted to ask if you saw a man there, a communications officer by the name of Jaspar. <laughs> what? Dude, this option. Oh my god. I met Jaspar at the starport and saved his life. I expect some show of gratitude. You may name your firstborn after me or whatever it is that commoners do to thank their heroes. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, your lordship. We will. It is a great honor. She forces a smile, and then with far greater sincerity, she adds, and thank you, both for saving Jaspar and letting me know he's all right. <laughs> She bows. You can tell by the desperation in her eyes she's exhausted, frightened, and wishes to be off this planetoid as soon as possible. <laughs> you may name your child after me. Never doubt me. Alright. Disarmed a trap. The guard post has been vacant for a long time. There's a layer of dust on every surface. What lies beyond? Build a bridge. I guess I have to do that from the other side. To the barracks. Awkward, only for her. Patience! My nerves are frayed! Abelard, I've been meaning to ask. How are you keeping it together so well? Don't you ever feel... awful without her? Enough, Tlus. We have a duty to the new rogue trader. You would do well to focus on that. If you keep your mind busy, you will have less opportunity to fill it with awful things. That's true, actually. That's a real life advice, Chet. If you're uh, ever feeling like lazy, I don't. Uh, you're, I heard this from someone else, and I'm stealing this quote. You're not lazy. You're bored. You need to find something that engages you, for something that's interesting you that can eat up the time. Also, and I can say this as someone who struggled with this in the past, helps a lot with depression, too. If you're ever struggling with depression, if you can fill your time with something that's engaging, uh, you don't really have the time to get depressed. Because you're just constantly thinking about this other thing that you're engaged in. Whether it's art, programming, gaming, if you're really uh, you're passionate about a game and you're constantly thinking about like, oh man, tomorrow when I get more playtime, I'm gonna try this new build out. I wonder if, how this talent would work with this one. Like anything to just keep your mind buzzing. Is uh, it's no t there's no time to get uh, to get depressed at that point. That that true story that worked for me in the past. The remains of a meal, one far too lavish for even a hive world, let alone a prison colony. Not medical advice. I uh, I mean, not advice from a doctor, but I'm saying it worked. Uh, you know, it worked for me. Heresy grows. See, right there. I better myself through my service. Ah! Failed. Head trauma. All right, you know what? Ah, uh, that sucks. Hold on, what is this? Int, perception, willpower, and fellowship reduced by 15. Can be healed on the void ship. I hate how often we have to go back to the void ship. Okay. Hold on, we're really close to the ship. I'm just gonna go back really oh, quick and get this treated. time amidst the madness. Good advice, sometimes difficult to put into practice. That is true. It is, uh, it can be difficult to find something that interests you to that degree that gets you that engaged. That is absolutely true. But if you, you know, if you're in that situation where you don't have something that can engage your mind that much, you have to try things. And that can sometimes be the hardest part, is pushing yourself to, like, if you're already depressed, pushing yourself to, like, try stuff out. But once you try stuff out, you can hopefully come across something that you're like, oh shoot, this is really awesome. In this tapestry of a world, I am the rogue thread. Okay. What's that? Uh, a long string of names extends beneath to the heading top quarry workers of the cycle. Scraps of typical prison food repulsive to the senses. Uh, prison Diary of Auntie Sean. Oh, 
There will be no peace in my wake. Oh, glorious You've been ambushed. The battle of begins. Your demise. Right, so I can't move Cease any characters around. Uh, and Argenta is way in the back. What is that? Integrity. While full wounds, the soldier has plus 10 ballistic skill and plus 2 MP. She's going to be the only one that can hit these guys through here. Actually, wait. Do they just have knives? If they don't have guns, I don't have to shoot them to the wall. This guy's got a gun. Grenade your guard. As the Emperor commands, I act eradicated. I'll do it. Don't grenade me, bro. <laughs> no! Wait, did that miss? Huh. Okay. Guess it was a bad throw. That was funny. He walked in, triggered an attack of opportunity, and walked out. Like, psych. As the Emperor commands, I act. Strike is a prayer. I'll do it. Oh, did it not work? It didn't say it could be, I mean, I guess it could be resisted. It didn't say it could be resisted, but all right. Schemes within schemes. Faith without deeds is worthless. Ah, uh, miss. Run and gun for another turn. This is unacceptable. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> what if? <laughs> oh, that's right. Whenever he hits something, they're poisoned forever. Almost forgot about that. Let's see. Target gains a bunch of bonuses till the end of combat. Put Anything that on the is. Mark. And for warning we'll on Cassia. <gasps> was was that you? Or Pascal? Move there and analyze that guy. Out. 37%. Yeah, dodge. Kind of expected that. I've seen worse battles Charge. than this in my time. Uh, let's see. Cleave is, yeah, Cleave is the one that has a whole area. I will do my duty. It will be done. He's got another grenade. Prone. They lost a turn. I wonder if you hit an enemy to poison them more than once if the poison stacks in this game. Doubt is for the weak.